all right everybody welcome back to my youtube channel if you don't know it's a girl brave up underscore and morning back with another video and this one is going to be a vlog another vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it before i get into the video please guys remember if you haven't already subscribed to my channel go ahead and click that subscription button so you won't miss a video once i upload Today, we're going to be preparing some Father's Day dinner. I just want to say Happy Father's Day to everyone I father them out there. Drop your comment down below and think, tell me if you think single mothers are supposed to be considered fathers or even wishing them Happy Father's Day. Okay, so, see some of my things that we're going to prepare already. I don't know. So, we're chicken well seasoned up already. We're going to do some home style brown stew chicken we're gonna look like macaroni for little mixed vegetable in there that in the fridge we're gonna take out that yet and i said this is a little pan where we're gonna cook in a we have a little bit of season on the counter with vegetable the over there so this is right as so now you know so we have soak off the cabbage in some salt water and that's because if there's any insect inside before shredding the cabbage we can get rid of all of that add a small piece of melon that i'm going to be dicing and putting in the vegetable it's like a, it's like a really look nice. Over here, so we we'll have we we'll peace on the fire already. So on Sunday, it's tradition for us to really look about dinner early. By 12 o'clock, on the dot, dinner supposed to be ready. All right, bread up from this right now. We we'll put on a pot. We're gonna start doing meat, you know. All right, guys. So just going to pour a little bit of Uncle Sam's oil in the pot. Uncle Sam, we're not talking about taxes. We are talking about real uncle sam brand oil not going to put a lot and that's it now we're going to get a little piece of garlic and we're going to throw that in the oil to burn and we're going to cut a piece of bad man pepper because the pepper is well hot enough so we're going to cut off a little piece about eight different times we use that for the pepper and it's still bad get them there in your pot make them go and burn also guys don't forget the rules clay go clean as you go because we can't cook in a dirty kitchen you understand so if you want to put something drop somewhere clean it up you don't know what how we say cleanliness is next to godliness all right guys so we have a baking thing right and so all right so we're going to drop piece piece of the meat in another pot so right now this is what inside of the oil look like i don't know The link will be down below in the description section. Also, go over there, subscribe to the YouTube channel and tell them I sent you. Alright, guys, so this is what it looks like. So now we're just gonna stir it up a little bit. This is always better for you to use your hand and all the angle of the parts, you know. Alright, so we just I make that tear the early could be and catch some colour. And then we're gonna jump right over to the vegetable section and start prepare our vegetable. As a matter of fact, we're not prepare the vegetable yet. Well cut up with seasoning them now to put in our meat pot. So see them now. So me take out my mixed vegetable. This is about half one of mixed vegetable. Well, we're gonna put in our little brown stew. This is not something that we get out a recipe book. A girl better can cook. You understand? When a day so pretty looks, you know. So we're gonna put a little twist to the dinner today. And everybody put mixed vegetable in them stew what that we're gonna do today. And remember say, guys, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscription button. 
and just always share, share, share. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell it. Everybody. I got to right now we're gonna jump right into it. We're gonna cut up some seasoning to put in the pad. Please guys ensure that you wash your seasoning before using them. So right here, sir. We have some scallion or we are cut up put in our little meat pad. If you have a knife in your kitchen, you're well sharp. Please be careful how you use it. Remember, this is my way of preparing home style brown stew chicken. Have your time, you know, have to cut up your time because you know we don't want to chew up no time stick. So, we are going to do this wash already. All of them here wash already, so we just have to throw it in there. We have a piece of onion. We already seized up the meat with the onion already, so we don't need a lot of, a lot of onion. also have some sweet pepper now this you can dice the sweet pepper you can slice the sweet pepper for me i'm just gonna run it carefully right across like that Now that's going to be it for the seasoning that we're going to throw in the pot. Remember, we have a mixed vegetable, so the pot has got pretty and colorful today. Alright guys, so we had a little bit too much oil in the pot. So what we're going to do now, we, do, we did take out the chicken then. Put them back in the pot, we season the meat now. And now we're going to just saute the seasoning before adding them back, adding back the meat in the pot. I'm just gonna saute all of this. We're gonna add a little bit of Maggi, all purpose seasoning to the pot. Not a lot. And then we're going to add some ketchup to the pot. Cow's tomato ketchup, that's what we're going to now add to the pot. We don't want the meat too sweet, sweet, so we're not going to use a lot of ketchup. So we're going to just add a little tub of water into the pot. Alright, a little bit more water. So we're going to add back with chicken them in the pot now. So all you do is just go so. And you turn out your chicken. And then you have to mix that up in the sauce so you have. So now, we're going to get our pot cover. Alright, and then we're going to cover down the pot like that. Alright, All right. so now we have our peas. Just a cool down the pot. Warm up our peas pot. Alright, I will peas that. So now we need to transfer this from the pressure pot and we're going to put it in the rice pot that we're going to prepare our rice and peas in. Look at our color, they're pretty. Imagine when you mix this with little white. All your rice and peas are come out pretty. You are gonna season up your pot just like how you season up your meat pot. You know, make your rice taste nice like you can eat alone. All right, so now we have our pot. So we are gonna cook our rice in our meat. The rest are simmer down. All right. Now it's time to transfer our peas. The peas are already cooked. So what I'm going to do now is to add our coconut milk. Alright, 
add coconut milk and season up the pot and then we're good to go coconut powder chives and grease we got show that in our pot uh, so that never mix up good so yeah then we have like a seasoning and you know, so we have a pepper like a thyme scallion and some sweet pepper and then now in a little corner this so we have a piece of ginger ginger make everything nice you know eating a different flavor all right so now we never put a salt no nothing like this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the corn go back in our maggi that's about seven shake or so and then now this is another batter but we'll put some tied out jerk seasoning in and then we're gonna just put the that in there you know say some pimento seed come out in that gonna get that run I'm oh, going to make sure that there's coconut milk while coming on. Nobody getting a running baby. I understand. Alright. Feel free to go ahead and taste your pot. I mean, I will taste my pot. But yeah. Oh, yeah, so. We have a meat. Yeah. And we're going to get back to the vegetables. So we are covered with So now. back again. Back again in other pot. This time we're we'll gonna check for our meat. We meet our bubble. Bubble. Bubble 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 bubble. So now we meet basically cook. So we'll just uh, add a quarter of the half pound of mixed vegetable in other pot. And we're just gonna give that a Then I just still. I mean, yes, we can look for your one like you want. Alright, so that's that. Like so now, people, we're gonna wear our rice, put in our rice pot, and then we're gonna start out with vegetable. Alright. So yeah, so we have some melon and some tomato, not a lot because remember, so we are gonna put mayonnaise on it. I see that one yeah. She loves mayonnaise, you know. She had the videographer. So I'll put some of this on it. We're we'll gonna mix up with carrot and with cabbage. And then we're gonna slice up some of this. We're gonna now slice some of these and then we're gonna put it in it, right? You know, yaman? Right. Yaman. Alright. Dish and we have a oh, transfer. Watermelon. watermelon. Get with dish and transfer with vegetable here now. Yes, so that's how we look at vegetable. I will cut up with cucumber now and put it in it. So this is our vegetable. We're not going to add our cucumber, but we have to wash the cucumber. We're going to peel some of the skin off, and then we're going to use the fire to create some texture on our cucumber. Now this is our cucumber here. This is our cucumber. Our cucumber. 
or cucumber yes yeah, so all we're going to do the cucumber today we're just gonna get the fire that we used to stir it and then we're just gonna go like so and run it right down I'm going to do that all around So this is the final part of the vegetable. We don't have no lettuce. Anybody will have lettuce or want to sponsor me, you know where to find me. So we're gonna put this in the cooler. We're gonna put it in the lower part of the fridge. I'm gonna put this in the cooler. Alright, so we are check power meat. We meat basically finish. Alright. I've got one more thing. And that's guess what? So I'm gonna turn off the stove because we'll meet ready. We'll meet well cooked and thing. Look at this. It's supposed to melt it in your mouth, you know. You understand? Yeah. Alright, so for the rice, right now we know what say we rice the water well boiled down so till the water look like it's a boil out. So we're gonna add a little bit more water. And then we are gonna add the rice to the fire, to the pot. So you know it's that time to get your rice in your pot. Make sure you wash your rice clean so till you can see no white. All right. You know, so we can use, we can use one and I'm deal this. So we we'll crepe out the whole of the rice in our pot. It's about quarter pound of rice in Astana, a joke, you know so much, but this is a lot of rice, so we have to scrape all of that out into our pot. You know, say rice going to pot the pot kind of stop boiling a little bit. So now we're going to give it a stir. I'm going to cover it up and then we're going to monitor the pot. Alright. Mm -hmm. So me done with vegetable with meat finish. With vegetable finish. Rice just got a go on. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna prepare our mac and cheese. You don't know the brand is Kraft. Well crafted macaroni and cheese. This is what we're going to prepare next. Mac and cheese. Okay, we have a stretchy pot, you know. We have a stretchy pot. Yeah. So guys, our macaroni is ready. What we're gonna do, we're now gonna take it out. Then we're going to add our cheese to it. So we're going to turn off the fire. Over there we have a rice. You know, we'll put the bag over the rice. If you kind of get it steam out. So that I eat the way I come out of it. Can I make that touch, you know? You know what I mean? So there's a peep on the rice a little bit. Yeah. See that? So we're not ready for trouble the rice. Just to show you how I go on. Again, meat ready. Macaroni time, vegetable in the fridge, juice already mixed. I don't know some Jamaican apple juice. Yeah. Father's Day dinner. And then no cheese, we'll come to the box. So this is what the macaroni looks like. I'm going to cover this now. So that is ready to go. Yes, yeah, so we stir up rice a little bit. It's still not ready. You want to steam out more same way. All 
right? So we are cover back up part. I'm Baby tablet is in the food. Yes, she tea for peas, brother. I don't know why she stays so. Like, I fear this something, then. I'm going to say to her, say, you know, things they did in the cell of the kale I want to. So, we are coming to put this in there. So, yes, brother. Yes, people see babes, they are good on in I'm food. Happy Father's Day. Thanks. <laughs> yes, I'm a good on in my food. I'm just a come out for the road. And you know, so we have like an apple juice film. But I'm saying I'm not ready for it yet. You know, say so I want it well cool. No sugar added. Enjoy my Father's Day dinner. That we are talking about. Mama food. Ready to go. A little bit of apple juice. You know, macaroni. Did this so? Rice. Vegetable. She can eat vegetable? Yes, she can. Chicken. We mix vegetable. Ooh. 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 Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, people. There. I eat my food. Mm, you know, me not share my food and fix up nothing. Mm. Everybody has food they fix up. So, guys, this is the end of my father's day vlog. Be posting some pictures at the end of this. You guys can also remember to follow me on Snapchat at Hemonicky Soon Six on TikTok at Hemony. IG Hemorny underscore YouTuber and my business page is birds of underscore Hemorny. Mm -hmm. Facebook Hemorny Mika Campbell. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more vlogs like these, please subscribe to the channel. Share. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell everybody. And again, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Uh, the girl green, please don't make the girl green chuck personal. It can make a second round. And even though curfew is 2 p.m., you know, they make an exception for the girl today. So don't miss the chuck. Happy Father's Day again. Out. <laughs>